Hi. Let's learn about adjusted EBITDA, definition, formula, and how to calculate. Adjusted EBITDA is a measure computed for a company that takes its earnings and adds back interest expenses, taxes, and depreciation charges, plus other adjustments to the metric. Standardizing EBITDA by removing anomalies means the resulting adjusted or normalized EBITDA is more accurately and easily comparable to the EBITDA of other companies, and to the EBITDA of a company's industry as a whole. The formula for adjusted EBITDA involves calculating earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization and then adding or subtracting adjustments to arrive at the adjusted EBITDA figure. These adjustments include income taxes, interest, depreciation, amortization, and other items specific to the company being analyzed. To calculate adjusted EBITDA, start with earnings before income, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, then add back interest expense, income taxes, all non-cash charges including depreciation and amortization. Following that, Add back non-routine expenses or deduct any additional typical expenses that would be present in peer companies, but may not be present in the company under analysis. Adjusted EBITDA is used to assess and compare related companies for valuation analysis. It normalizes income and expenses, making them more comparable across different companies. Adjustments include normalizing for personal expenses run through the business, adding back one-time expenses, such as legal fees, and making adjustments for reasonable compensation to owners. Adjusted EBITDA is part of a set of analytical tools used to value a company or companies, and can be compared using ratios such as the enterprise value slash adjusted EBITDA ratio. The adjusted EBITDA metric is most helpful when used in determining the value of a company for transactions such as mergers, acquisitions, or raising capital. The adjustments made to a company's EBITDA aim to normalize the figure so that it contains essentially the same line item expenses that any other similar company in its industry would contain. It is important to note that adjusted EBITDA is not a generally accepted accounting principles standard line item on a company's income statement. Common EBITDA adjustments include non-recurring, irregular, and one-time items that may distort EBITDA. These adjustments are often not made available to the public, while non-normalized EBITDA is typically public information. It is important to note that adjusted EBITDA is not a generally accepted accounting principles standard line item on a company's income statement. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The adjusted EBITDA measurement removes non-recurring, irregular, and one-time items that may distort EBITDA. 2. Adjusted EBITDA provides valuation analysts with a normalized metric to make comparisons more meaningful across a variety of companies in the same industry. 3. Public companies report standard EBITDA in financial statement filings as adjusted EBITDA is not required in GAAP financial statements. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.